All glory given to the Most High Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy, the Lord of the earth and the Lord of this heaven, the Lord of hosts. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and all my sisters out there in the world. This is your brother Jehoshiah. Thank you for tuning in to your brother here in the sanctuary. Thank you for spending time with your brother in the sanctuary. It's another week, family, and we right back at it again. What is up to all my brothers? What is up to all my sisters? Israel, what is good, family? What is good, Israel? You know what I'm saying? What is good, Jerusalem? What is good, Judah? What is good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world? Peace and blessings be upon you in Yeshua's precious name. What's good, family? It's the beginning of the week. You you know how your brother you know how your brother is, family. You know how your brother Jehoshiah is. Don't play with me. You know how I am, family. You know what I'm gonna say to you. Let me um get on this real quick. Now, family, personally, I don't even know why they want to pull out this Nazi Jesus. I don't even know why. Look at look at look at look. look. Okay, now. This is some scary stuff, family. If you if you really see this, family, this is some scary stuff. Okay, I know Jesus is black, but why he why he gotta look like that? Why he gotta look like a Nazi? Like like he gotta look like a Nazi Doctor Strange or something, family, with the cape and everything, family. I know he great, but family, this is the only Nazi Yeshua I have ever seen, family. A Nazi Jesus. It's a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame, family. It's a damn shame, family. That's some scary stuff right there, family. That is some scary stuff, family. But thank you for spending the time. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who was with your brother at 9 o'clock prayer hour last night. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. At the beginning of the week, you get with your family and you pray to your father. You talk to your father about all your strives and all your woes and everything that's going on with you. And you tell your father how great he is. You sing to your father. You magnify your father. You talk to your father about these dirty, foul, stinky, black demons. That's who you talk to him about, family, for your brother. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are in the sanctuary. With your brother Jehosa. Y'all, it's been a long time, family. What is good, family? You, you, you with family around here. What is good, family? Okay, 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 family. I'm going to go ahead and give you a bonus. A bonus for today. I was going to say this to the end of the show because, you know, I'm only going to give y'all an hour. I know, I know, I know. I'm only going to give you an hour, though. Because if y'all only knew... All the things that your brother had to do today and places I had to go and all of that stuff. But what I realized today, what I have learned today, family, is that just because it's a younger person does not mean that the devil won't attack them. There's no age ranging on the devil attacking any of us, family. So look at your babies. Look at your young ones. Look at your little cousins and them. They are going through it, family. And it's sad. It's sad. It's sad to know that if you don't tell these little kids everything that you have been through in your life, dealing with the world and the devil, then they're going to come up short, family. They're going to fall short because they ain't never had nobody telling them. So it is our jobs as Men and women and brothers and sisters and husbands and and um and aunties and uncles and nieces and nephews, family, to tell these to tell our people of all the things that they gonna have to face and make them listen, family, and make them listen and understand that we facing the devil. Either you like it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? You could either like it or you don't, family. We're not talking about your sin. We're not talking about life. We're not talking about Yah. We're just talking about you facing the devil. Ain't no age range on that. He ain't. He as I as I look at my life, family. He really he really has a plan on people life. And as I look back at my life, family, God lets you sit back and lit and listen, family. On what's been done, why it was done, how it was done. And the devil actually has a plan on people life, family. I can't picture a no person on the face of this earth 
that the devil didn't have a plan on their life, family. He really had a plan. And he was really trying to make these things happen with all that he had. But children of God, we strong, family. It's only through God's plan, God's hand of protection that I did not give in to the devil's plan on my life. And not just folded in like the sheep and gave in just like to, like everybody else, family. The devil has a plan on your life and, th and this and this being is relentless trying to trying to do those things. So as I look at the young people, they getting attacked by the devil too. It's just a damn shame that they ain't got nobody telling them what they are going through. You know what I'm saying? It's a damn shame, family. It's a damn shame. I told you, family. I told you. You're gonna have to face him. Either you like him, either you like it or you don't. You still gonna have to face him. You're gonna still have to face the evil. You still gotta go through it. So they don't even know they're going through it, family. As I look back at my life, I was going through it with him and I didn't even know he was messing with me like that, family. I did not know he had his hands in my life shaped like that, trying to get me to do all of those things, family. Trying to get my trying to get me to lose my life out there in the streets, family. Trying to get me to get, throw my life away up in some prison, family. So, so as I look at him and I look at the things that he's doing to people, I, I see the things that he's doing to our people, family. And and it just sits your brother at a woe, like I'm like I'm at woe in my heart, family. I feel for my people. They they fighting the devil. They going through all of this. That's why, like, when we go through lessons today from the promises, I'm I'm telling you, family. I, I really want to get you beefed up on all of your promises so you can know what they are. We've been going through them all week long, family. All last week, the week, but but it's all year long. You know, it's it's relentless over here, family. To get you beefed up on your promises so you can know what they is, so you can count on them things, and so you can work to strive to get I'm working to get God's promises on my life, family. I'm working to get them, to keep them, to always have them around me. What did your brother say? I can't I can't go down to Kmart, I can't go down to Target and be like, you know what? I got I got all this money right here. Can I buy some of God's promises? Can I can I get some of that? Can I get some of his favors? Can I get some of his blessings? You know what I'm saying? Can I get some of his protection? No, family. No, family. You can't buy it. So you got to earn it. You got to work for it. You got to earn it to get it from God. So that's what I'm doing, family. Your brother I ain't trying to over here mess up or nothing, family. And as I'm looking, as I'm looking at my life, family, he is relentless on some people to get them to be the people that they are now. Look at them, family. It's a reason, family. That person gave up, family. Can you imagine somewhere that they used to be just like you? Then they was fighting the devil. They was fighting them. I'm not gonna give it to you, devil. I'm not gonna I'm fighting you. I'm fighting you. Get off me. Hush, hush, give it in. Give it, just give it to me. He just owned them people, family. They found can you imagine that one they used to be like you? To some core of their degree of their self worth of they being, family. They used to be just like you, family. And they lost, family. They gave in, family. You don't want to end up being like that because they fight. And I'm, I'm sitting up over here looking like these people really, they really had to fight against. Okay, now, look, 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 let's just break this down for a second, family. That man who was a carjacker, the devil had a foot in the plan on making that man a carjacker. Do you understand that, family? Okay, I understand that we all have free will, but the devil will line you up to give you everything and make and, and shape it into that way to where it's more easier for you or you just fall into it, family. So to some degree, the devil was tempting that person at every single turn to give in to whatever they are now. Now, look at all the different multitudes of different sin and different things that people are. It's so many of them, family. This this goes to any single thing that a person is. The devil planned on that person before that person became a rapist. The devil was messing with that person, making them give in to that family. I'm just telling you, family, that aligns with before she went out there cheating on her husband. The devil was messing with that lady, family. She it, okay. She was fighting it. Some of them just give in and whatnot, but the devil will present himself with all this temptation, and they just give in, family. It shapes who they is, family, to where they they can't come back after it too. This is sad, family. It's sad. It's sad. Maybe maybe they can. Maybe they can't. 
Few, few, few I, I, can I say many? I can't say that, family, because you see them. So the devil has a plan on every single person's life. I don't care who they is, who it was, what they was doing. It really doesn't matter, family. And if you can know that wherever you trying, okay, like the things that you want to do, he going to fight against that for some of us. Some of us ain't got to, they ain't got to give in. They ain't got to worry about things like that. But you just got to put it forth in your own self that it's some aspect at your life right now that he is fighting you over. What is it? What are you having rough in it? Just look at your life. What are you having it rough in and you ain't doing nothing wrong? That's where he fighting you at. Straight up, whatever. I know it sounds sad. I know, brother. I know it sounds sad. And you didn't even know it was that, sister. I know. I'm sorry. But that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? He fighting you so dang tough at. And he just keep on coming back and stuff. You know that's him, right? You know that's him trying to take whatever that's away from you. You know what I'm saying? This is how he presents himself when he's taking stuff from us and doing stuff to us. So as I look at it, look at your life and see where, where your trouble is. And that's where he's presenting himself at, family. I didn't know that when I was a little kid. Didn't nobody tell me that, family. Didn't nobody tell me that when I was like 14, 15 years old. I didn't know that. If I would have knew that, I would have had prepared myself a little bit better, family, about me fighting the devil like that. But that's all right. Because so many of di all my little different brothers out there, somebody going to tell them what I just said right here, right now. That you fighting the devil too. I'm not just fighting the devil up over here by myself. You fighting them and everybody that you know. And if they give in, look at to the evil they give in. I'm telling you, they was really fighting that evil. Do I have to say say? I just think she gave into it. People in this world, family, the devil has a plan on their life, family. From a young age, he's attacking them, attacking them to give into his plan on their life, family. Even though we have free will, it's a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. Your brother, I want you to think about that. And I want you to think real hard on it so you can better prepare yourself. Because if you don't know, he's going to tear you up. Look what happened to your brother Jehoshaphat. I didn't know, family. If I knew what I knew right now, I would have knocked the devil down, family. Hallelujah. I would have beat him down with Yahshua. Well, I can't say I would have beat him down. But the Yahshua who lives in me and my father who's, who loves me. He would have did something about that family, and he would have did a whole lot about it, and, and whatever was happening to me, it wouldn't even have played out like that, family. But that's all right, family. That's all right, family. My little brothers and my little sisters out there in the world, they know now. My people out there in the world, my brothers and my sisters, they know that. How do you feel about that? Use that every day. Because if you not, you're going to get caught slipping. Okay, family, let's go ahead and get into lessons for tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Like like I said though, family, now it's a lot of things that I might say tonight that would probably be offensive to other people. But as I look at these things, you gotta understand this is what I believe. This is my belief system. This is this is all my culture. All my customs, all my heritage for thousands and thousands of years since my people been upon this earth. That God has blessed me with my history, family. This is my history that I'm talking about. I'm just not sitting here talking about. See, see, other people be talking about the Bible because this religion to them. It's not a religion to me, family. It's my history, family. It's everything of all of where my people come from, where we came, my whole, it is my whole heritage of a person of who I am, family. My whole lineage, family, right here, right now, of what I'm telling you about, family. I don't, I don't, I'm not one of them people. I told y'all I'm a Hebrew. I'm not a Christian. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Hebrew. I'm not a Christian, family. Okay, now look. I told you, I told you, some of my brothers... We ain't going to say no names. I ain't got to point no fingers. But they read the book and don't even know that it's talking about them. That is sad, family. That is so sad to your brother Jehoshaphat. It is sad, family. It is so sad. Okay. Now let's go ahead and family to make sure I got to I got to uh, I got to warn you to make sure that I don't I don't lose off. I'm going to end it with last week to make sure we went through everything. Hallelujah. 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 
And you know how it is for your brother at the beginning of any week, family. You know what I'm practicing up over here. I'm practicing love, family. I am. I'm, I'm practicing love. One Hebrew to one Hebrew. Loving each other, family. Loving each other. Brother to brother. Loving each other. So-called African-American. They call themselves so-called African. That's so-called African-American. Black people. Loving I'm practicing love. I'm practicing. Lift your people up. You know how your people is, family. Your father told me to tell y'all how I feel about love. That's what he said. How I feel about love. He is love, family. He is love, family. I, I'm giving all my love to Yah. That's what I have to. What I feel about love, I feel that if I give all my love to Yah, I won't have to worry about anything, family. You know what I'm saying? This looks like he already got me over here. He already got me up over here, pierced by an earring in my nose, family. I'm already hooked, silked, and delivered on Yah like that. So I really love him and. I feel that people really don't even know what love is nowadays, family. Jesus, he explained to the whole world what love is, but people still don't understand that if you love somebody, you always going to be there for you. You're not going to be all violent to them. You're not going to be trying to do all those things that the people be trying to do, like love will be trying to hurt you. They be always going back. Just keep on coming. Love me. Love me. You can go back and love me. Love me. No. He doesn't and she doesn't. Leave them people alone. They don't even love you. They just using you. So Jesus, he explained to all of us what love would do. I explained it to you, what Jesus said, what love is. That's what love really is, family. Love is faithful, family. It'll always be there for you, family. It'll never try to hurt you, family. It'll 